Hey, this is Sherry Taylor with ATL Clinical Workshop. And today I want to talk to you about patient teaching. I always get asked that question. What am I supposed to teach? Are they going to give me an idea of what to teach? The answer is no, it's up to you. You have to figure out what it is that you would like to teach. And now you're teaching with all of your managements. So you're going to get in that rhythm. If you're not already comfortable with patient teaching, you want to get get started now because you're going to do a lot of teaching for your clinical weekend. But one little tip that I've got for you, when you're trying to figure out what am I going to teach or how am I going to teach it, you want to think patient safety. With every category out there for all of your managements, focus on patient safety first. Let me give you an example. If I'm assigned to give heparin, I'm not going into the whole molecular structure of heparin and all this junk about what it's going to do, what it's not going to do. No. I'm giving them a blood thinner. They need to know that it's a blood thinner. They need to know it's important to wear socks and shoes and not bump into anything. I need to make sure that I have a lighted pathway for them to get to the bathroom so they don't increase, they're already at risk for injury, they don't get hurt. Okay, there's patient safety. When I'm talking about, say, aspirin, I'm not going into, oh, it's a blood thinner and you can bleed aspirin. It hurts your gut if it's used over time. These little old people that like to take their daily aspirin for heart potential, you know, they, they take that baby aspirin every day, it can irritate their stomach. So I want to talk to them about what time of day do they take it? Do they take it with or without food? And do they notice that they have any stomach problems when they do take it? Because we do know that that's a side effect long term. So mobility. With mobility, think about it. Go patient safety. What do I want to do? I want to move them slowly from a sitting, you know, a lying to a sitting position. Have them dangle on the side of the bed. Make sure they're not dizzy or short of breath, make sure they got socks on, that I have the appropriate equipment if they need a walker, cane, crutches, safety. So whenever you're thinking about what the heck do I teach a patient, head towards that safety. You won't go wrong with that. So safety first. Think that every time you're teaching. That's your teaching tip for today. For more tips and more information, visit our website, www.atlclinicalworkshop.com.